Arsene, we've heard your TV comments. You clearly weren't happy with the refereeing over the penalty and the offside goal, was it? Yeah. Can you just elaborate a little bit? You have seen what I've seen. Uh, you judge what, what, uh, how you want. But I think uh, uh, the fact that you tell me it's an offside goal shows is enough, you know. But means it's time. Uh, it's, uh, I don't want to take anything away from their quality, but uh, it happened at the moment uh, where we went less. We were reading the game at 2-1 and uh, it, was, it killed the game. And it's the second year we come here, we get uh, two offside goals last year and we get uh, one again this year. And uh, apart from that, uh, I felt that we started well in the first 10 minutes after we suffered because we played too deep and uh, for 25 minutes in the last 10 minutes we came back into the game. Second half was the even game, it uh, was us chasing the game and them uh, always being dangerous on counter-attacks. But uh, uh, I felt we put a lot of effort in and the 2-1 they were uh, you could feel that uh, we could come back, you know, and uh, the 3-1 was an immense relief for him, an unexpected uh, uh, present, but uh, it is as it is. After, of course, the 3-1, you have to go forward. We play with uh, four offensive players. Every counter-attack looks like uh, they can score a goal, but it's the history of the game that created that. Arsene, you said you were chasing in the second half. If you'd scored with that opportunity just before half-time, how different would it have been? Uh, I don't know. You must know that much better. Uh, I felt that uh, the game is what it is. We knew before the game that we had some moments where we'd suffer. We tried to be solid at the back, you know, and overall, I felt that... Uh, before the game, I would say I knew that uh, we would, could be in trouble on uh, their pace with the strikers we have, and that's why we tried to play our usual system. And uh, when you were 2-0 down, of course, we had to take a gamble, and after that, I felt it was more in the game than uh, a lost game. Arsenal, it was a bit of a surprise to see Francis Coquelin line up at uh, centre-back. Could you just explain the, your thinking behind that? Because we've seen El Nenny at times this season, but never... Uh, I can explain to you that uh, Murta Saka came in yesterday morning sick. That uh, Holding had a thigh strain. That um, uh, Debussy just comes back uh, from a long time absentee. And uh, that... Uh, I don't see that uh, big problem. We need to play in the middle of the two. Your defensive midfielder or midfielder is exactly the same. And I don't think that uh, was a problem in our game. Arsene, uh, how do you feel Alexis Sanchez performed today, given everything that happened over the summer with his... I felt in a difficult uh, moment of, his, of a game. He uh, did very well because he was on his own up front. And I felt in the first half he was very sharp, but had not enough support. And... Uh, we had, uh, of all, uh, I think he has given everything. It was a huge mental, mental test for him with everything that happened. Sorry? It was a huge mental test for him with everything that happened with Manchester City. It is City. a huge mental test, but I had no doubt about him uh, before the game. I know that uh, he's focused and uh, uh, he wants to win. Arsene, can I ask you what you thought of Alexis Sanchez's performance today? I just thought the, the good performance. Thank you. Look, uh, can anyone stop them? Uh, it will be difficult this season. The way they have started, the way they are on the run, the quality they have, it will be difficult to stop. But uh, you never know. If on, on top of that at home they have a decision uh, for them like that, uh, they will be unstoppable. Thank you. Thank you.